We work on a condition called acute myeloid leukaemia and another type of blood cancer that gives rise to leukaemia called myelodysplastic syndrome. And we work on understanding new types of treatments for these diseases. There's a drug now that's been available and used in some clinical trials called Imatelstat. And we were able to show a number of years ago that this drug is very effective in acute myeloid leukaemia. We know that this drug is supposed to target telomeres, which are the ends of the chromosomes, leading to shortening of those telomeres and activation of cell death pathways. Now, what we've been able to show is that in fact, there's an entirely new way of uh, action of these drugs, which is what we call independent of the effects on telomerase. We eventually discovered that Imatelstat induces a new type of cell death that has only been described very recently as ferroptosis. It was incredibly exciting for us because we did not expect that. Imatelstat enters the cell where it works with two important enzymes to produce lipid radicals that then cause the rupture of the cell membrane eventually leading to cancer cell death. So this work is uh, very significant for me in a team of uh, more than 20 local, national and international researchers. And it took us more than five years to complete this project, even coming in late at night on the weekends and public holidays. Look, I think it's very early days yet. This pathway is, has only recently been described for the first time. And we understand more and more about it all the time. But it looks like it is very important, not just in blood cancers, but in other types of cancers. It looks like this drug is not the only drug to affect this pathway. So it may be that there are lots of new opportunities to target this pathway. We have um, been involved in the world's first clinical trial, looking at this drug in patients with acute myeloid leukemia. And it's only been open for a couple of months, but we are already seeing some really promising signs. I think it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I had uh, to, to go to my local doctor to have a normal blood test, a 12 monthly blood test. And I went and did that and he rang up when the results come back at five o'clock that night and said that um, your blood count is dangerously low, get to hospital now. And so we packed the bags and took off to hospital and they um, told me that uh, you've got leukaemia but it's tr don't worry, it's treatable. Well, I think I was in, in shock, um, but I sort of accepted it, okay, so I've got this will fix me. We have now many opportunities and more ideas on how we can drive the um, drug development for leukemia further. And one very exciting thing is I think the work on understanding the combinations of these drugs with existing treatments such as chemotherapy or other novel treatments for cancers is really at its very infancy. So there's a, a great scope for new understanding and new opportunities there. Keep up the good work. And if I won the lotto, I'd give them a big donation. <laughs>